Hi friends, Yari here with Third Eye Yari and I am a fun and safe psychic medium and spiritual therapist who helps people awaken. Uh, one of my best friends asked me for a business reading. Uh, so that gave me the idea of doing a business reading for you. Um, so let's do it. Uh, I'm going to uh, use the Enchanted Map and ask your guys uh, for some guidance. And I'm going to use as the main tarot, the Tower of Oppositions, and then for clarification, the Gold Leaf Tower. And I'm going to end up the reading with some tea leaf. Okay? All right. So this is the Enchanted Map. And you know I always push shuffle, but I don't like the energy to get stuck. Spark and ask you guys Wow, family, Holy Spirit. When I read Spark, I Im immediately heard um, Spark of Intuition, Spark of Energy. Um, but I can see some light coming from the sky um, and crossing over um, this lady over here uh, who looks like she's playing the violin. So a Spark of Inspiration too. And then that goes really well with family and Holy Spirit because <clears throat> I think that you're going to get that support, that loving, that structure, that foundation that you know you can rely on for uh, just just support, but also uh, for help with your inspiration and the spark of energy and all of that. And definitely from the Holy Spirit. Um, so I think that, that it's saying that you can rest assured that you're protected, that you're protected and that you have something to fall onto, uh, whenever you, you need all of that, that you can go ahead and use your imagination and, and, and use your intuition, uh, because you're supported. And the numbers here are 34 and three, well, it's the Trinity, right? Is the Trinity is also feminine, um, um, the Empress, feminine intuition, uh, is creativity, you know, is that, um, is that birthing experience when you create something. Um, it's also collaboration, it's working in teams, right? And then the four is that, wow, I didn't realize that the four is that stability, is that foundation. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then the seven, the three and the four together is that communication uh, with spirit. So all of it, to, it just works out together really, really well. Okay. So let's see. So we're going to put some cards down and and then we're going to talk about each, and, each one of them and we're going to clarify them, okay? So look at this. Wow. So this is the current energy and the current energy is the sun. So you're in happiness, you're in fulfillment. So it, 
you know, even if you don't feel like that, that's where you're at. So I think, and especially today is the full moon, is that super moon. And um, if you uh, if you didn't hear the the video for the lunation, please do so, because it it's all about bringing bringing into the tangible, bringing into the into reality your dreams your manifest what you want what you're trying to manifest so if you're trying to manifest something that has to do with business with a business you need to be in that you need to you need to be in that uh energy in that so if you are going if you think that this business is going to fulfill you it's going to make you happy you need to live in that energy you need to be there okay because what that's the energy that we put out in the into the universe and that's what's going to come back so we need to live into that reality to bring it in okay we cannot be asking for money and talking about how broke we are every day because that's the energy that you're putting out. I'm broke, I'm broke, I'm broke, I'm broke. Okay, so she must like it because she's, that's, that's all she talks about. That's where her focus is on. That's where her energy is. She spends all this energy on to that. So let's give her some more. Okay, so you need to be in that energy to bring it in. That's beautiful. Um, so what are the current challenges? And I wanted to, I have this other deck, right? Let's use it. So I want to clarify some more that um, beautiful current energy and then we move on. That's, that's very, very interesting. That's very, very interesting. We have, look, we have the 10 of pentacles and the moon, both of them in their reverse. And that is exactly what I was talking about. If that's the energy that you're putting on, you're never going to get this energy. So the moon energy is talking about uh, things hidden, things unknown. So, and, and, and today is the full moon. So, and you see that you have that sun behind the moon because the moon doesn't have its own light, right? It needs the moon, the sun to reflect that light. So when we have, it's not going to be the light of the full moon is not going to be as bright as the sun, but is the is the is the brightest that we're going to have as moon comes, and tonight specifically is the brightest ever because it's that super moon, right? So you really need to shine a spotlight, is and and that's what I was talking about in that uh, video. You need to shine that spotlights on the things. That you're lacking on the things that um, are unknowns to bring them up into the surface okay and then the ten of pentacles it's all about uh, money it's all about fulfillment just like the Sun card it's all about uh, being in abundance and not only with money but with family I mean in in the ten um, of pentacles you see several generations you see the mom the dad the kids the grandfather over here and you see dogs it's like a it's like a family picnic or reunion or whatever so it's abundance in all levels so you you need to have you need to make you need to make your current energy as you want it to be. You cannot be in lack and want fulfillment. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, so current challenges. And the current challenges, uh, we see uh, the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Again, 
the queen of pentacles is that queen that has everything she's the queen of coins but in the reverse is that lack so if you are lacking money if you are lacking in business if, if, if your business is not growing you need to get out of that energy okay and your daily life and your thoughts have to be as if you are evolving as if you're growing as if you're blooming because that's the energy that you're going to bring in, okay? So that's your challenge. That's your challenge. Don't stay in that energy. This is interesting. We have the Ten of Wands. And the Three of Wands in the reverse. Wands talk about business. Wands talk about passion. If you are very passionate in your business, that's exactly what we're talking about. But we're talking about a, a big effort, okay? A big effort. But when it's also the time of harvesting, you know, you plant, you take care, and then you make that big effort of harvesting, but then you enjoy that harvest, right? But you need to continue to plan. Um, the three of ones is that, is that energy of you looking out at the ships and kind of visualizing yourself out there in that movement, in that future energy of this, that, the other. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over there, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, but it came in the reverse, so you stop planning. So it's telling us two different things, okay? Not only you need to leave as if, but you need to continue to plan and change because life changes all the time. So you need to continue to be within that creative energy. We saw that Empress energy with the three here. Uh, you need to continue having those sparks of creativity and continue to plan to continue to upgrade that business. All right, um, and then we have, where can we find help? And what we got is the emperor. I mean, how, you can't make this stuff up. You can't make this stuff up. The emperor is the entrepreneur. The emperor is the king of all the kings. The emperor is that guy that has it all figured out, okay? Now, this one came in the reverse. So I can uh, imagine that you need to be careful and follow your God. Always follow your intuition and don't fall prey of somebody that says that knows everything, that appears to know everything. But if in your God you feel that there's somebody that that person doesn't have your best interest at heart, don't follow the advice. But we are definitely, I'm going to turn it around for you because you are going to find you have support. You have the support. So maybe that's, that's also the way that you're seeing yourself, that you don't have it all figured out. So we're going to turn it around because you're going to find somebody that's going to be able to help because he's been there before. And that is, again, as I'm saying that I can remember, 
that's some of the messages that I said. You know, this 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 um, energy that we have in this donation is not only um, honoring uh, the our ancestors, the people that have come before us, the people the the elder, the wiser, but also follow their knowledge, uh, learn from their knowledge. Because they know better. They, they've been there. When we are just starting a business, who do we need to talk to? Not another person who's just starting a business. That's also helpful, but it's going to be more helpful somebody that has a thriving business, that have been a thriving, that have been there for a long time. Because I guarantee from day one, they did not have a thriving business. You know, there has to be work to be put on and um, effort and bumps on the road. So they're going to be able to teach you all those things that they learned uh, so you don't have to fall as many times. Interesting. We have the sun again in the reverse. And remember that this emperor came in the reverse. So it's a very fast moving energy. It's a very fast moving energy. And I feel again that there's somebody, and maybe there's two people. I just heard that, two people. So you need to use your discernment and use your intuition. Let your body talk to you, okay? When, when so many times we make excuses for others when when we meet somebody and all of a sudden we go like uh i'm not so sure about this person but then we go like but give him give him a chance you don't know him or you don't know her why are you why are you judging so quickly give them a chance this that the other look this person has a lot of money this person can teach me a lot of things. I don't feel so good, but, but I, I am sure that this person can help me. No, if, you're, if your body is telling you no, no. So I think there's going to be two different people. And you need to use your discernment and, and let your God talk to you. That's your intuition. We call it our God, right? But it's, it, it, it is your God. But that's the way your intuition uses your body to talk to you. So I think there's going to be two people there and it's going to be very fast. So you're going to have to make a choice very quickly. I think when you're going to meet these two people, maybe you're not going to meet them right exactly at the same time, but you're going to have to choose um, pretty quickly. Things are going to move very pretty quickly, but there's going to be one of them that is going to be actually more help helpful than the other. The other might not be helpful at all or even um, in detriment to your business. So you need to be careful about that, okay? Um, now, long-term uh, gains. Long-term long, long gains. Um, wow, the Ten of Cups. And, and it's and it's in the reverse but we're talking about gain so we're talking about something positive and the ten of cups is just love it's just love and I see all those cups that are right side up so they're full I see flowers blooming I see a ladybug so a ladybug is always a, a sign of luck right and and you see the greenery and the and the flowers blooming so all of it i think i think that the long-term gains is gonna be something that you're gonna just love you're just going to enjoy when your business blooms when your business is thriving you're just gonna love it not just because you're gonna be in a very in a much better financial position, but it's just it's just going you're just going to enjoy what you do. Thoroughly enjoy yourself. So which is the best place to be uh, when you love what you do and then the money just come in uh, abundantly. 
I mean, life doesn't get any better than that, right? Long-term long gains. So we get the the four of cups and the and the queen of swords. The queen of swords is gaining a lot of clarity, and that makes a whole lot of sense for a long-term gain, uh, because when you learn the tricks of the trade when you learn what works and what doesn't work from that positive emperor there from that positive entrepreneur uh, you gain clarity you understand better how things work as to when we start anything not just the business anything you don't really know how that works okay uh so that makes a whole lot of sense and then you're gonna get some uh foundation force uh, the four cups it's always about it's always about uh stability forces it's always about stability it's like a i always say it's like a it's like a it's like a table right it has four legs if, if if it's missing a leg it's gonna tip over right so it's that strong foundation um and how you're going to feel about uh your business so you're gonna be very clear you're gonna gain a lot of clarity and she's always looking at the future you know her the 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 queen of swords always have um clouds um halfway up her body so she has a clear vision on the top and she's always looking um towards the future so it's a lot of clarity it's a lot a lot of clarity on what to do and what not to do and what, what and what to cut short okay and then this is an offering also it's not just the foundation it's also an offering of love but not necessarily romantic love we're talking about business but things that you are going to love things that are going to be really important for you and that are going to make you happy so that's the long-term gain. Now the short-term gain um, is the three of swords. So what you're going to gain is that clarity in the short term. So this means that you're going to learn very quickly what are you going to cut off? What are the things that are not going to serve you? What are the things that are not necessary? When, when we start anything, sometimes we have this preconceived idea. Oh, I'm sure this and that is going to be really important. And at the end, it's not. Well, I don't know why it comes to mind when you're having a baby. Uh, a, a lot of co-workers that are way younger than me and have, are having babies around me. And they always ask me, because I have five children, so I know about babies. Uh, they asked me, what do you need? And one of them, which I thought it was very interesting, she asked me, what do I not need? And I said, I love that you asked that because people go insane because, you know, they're excited, they're having this baby, and you go on and blow up all this money that you're going to need because diapers and formula are crazy expensive. So people go crazy and blow up all this money on things that they are not going to need. So that's the short-term clarity that you're going to get. So you're going to learn very quickly what are the things that you don't need. So I would say just hold on before you go on a shopping spree for your uh, business or you invest in things that you think uh, different servers or I don't know uh, it because it's gonna it's gonna depend on what um, business you have so if you have a the only thing I can think about is like for example having a subscription to staples for example or office depot uh, to have you know 
um, your 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 office paper pen envelopes things like that always uh, getting to you maybe that's not a good investment right now because maybe you don't because you don't know on the frequency that you're gonna need things that's the only thing that I can think about so you're gonna learn very early on things needed but most importantly things not needed that you don't have to invest upon I'm taking a long time I just looked at the clock it's been 25 minutes I'm just halfway through the reading. All right, let's get, get some clarity on this. I'm try. I'm gonna try to keep it short. All right. Short term carrots. It, it's it's giving me the same, the same um, messages. We got the devil and we got the king of of pentacles in the reverse again <coughs> you're gonna learn very quickly things not needed but you need to be careful okay you need to be careful with this devil this devil and it's in the reverse which is a good thing okay because you you that's that's what you're gonna learn but this is this is um talking about codependence this is talking about um too much of something too much, too much um, of something, you know. Uh, the, the devil talks to us about, for example, addiction. So it's too much alcohol or too much, well, drugs is too much, but too much drugs, too much alcohol, too much food, too much work, too much, too much love, too much dependence on somebody. But it's in the reverse, okay? And then the, pet, the, 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 the king of pentacles is again, Talking about somebody that it misuses their money, misuses their power. Okay, so we need to we need to be careful with a person. I think somebody's gonna try to come in. Maybe you have a fantastic idea, and somebody's gonna try to steal that. So you need to be very careful uh, when things seem to be too good to be true. They usually are. So if somebody that is supposed to be on top of things and have this uh, incredible business, thriving business, and is com is coming to you and wants wants to give you everything, but wants to take control to help you. Don't trust that, because why would anybody do that, right? So be use your discernment. What people may have to gain, so you don't end up in a messy situation it's it's the energy that i'm feeling right now all right um your strength the hair fant. i love that because that means that you are even if you don't feel like that you are very secure in your knowledge in your structure in um you know this is all about marriage the church government a big institution it's all about that strong long term foundation okay and you are sitting on that so even if you're feeling uh a little wobbly even if you're like insecure about how much you do know, you know, uh, trust yourself, trust on that, okay? So your strength is yourself. That's your strength, yourself. Yeah, so you've had power, power moments, right? And of things and tower moments people people are really worried about tower moments i think tower moments suck but they're fantastic because they shake you off from your foundation so maybe you got fired from a job or maybe you left a job that was really secure and that's why you're feeling a little wobbly that now you're like oh my gosh i'm not gonna have that paycheck every other week now i have to generate this but feel confident in what you do know 
you have you have that strength you have that foundation and you have something definitely ending but ends means that there's a new beginning okay every night is the end of the day there's another day coming guaranteed hands down i put my hands on fire over that there's gonna be another day coming right over Okay, so every ending is a new beginning and there may have been or you may feel like you're in the middle of a tower moment right now because you're like, oh my gosh, I just left my job and I'm starting this new business and I'm so, no, calm down, take a deep breath, you're going to gain clarity, you're going to gain a lot of knowledge very, very fast, you're, you have support, use your creativity, use your knowledge, use the family and that is not necessarily your mom your dad da, da, da. it's is your soul family it's those people that you feel as your family because they are supporting you the holy spirit is supporting you the trinity is supporting you you need to remember that you have all those strengths and and let that spark of intuition and that spark of creativity continue to roll in okay those are your strengths. And what are your weaknesses? The king of sword in reverse. I mean, do I need to say more? Kings, uh, court cards in reverse always means somebody that's misusing their power. Okay. So don't feel that. And we have in this one, if you turn around the sun and the moon, that came twice here already, okay? Um, so, so yeah, you need to turn the way that you think about because we, were, we saw that from the very beginning. You can be in this sun, but you need to, you need to change that lack mentality that I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. No, you can make it. You can make it. You can do it. You can. You are a very strong individual. Very strong. So that's your uh, weakness. Um, swords are air. And air are thoughts and words. So that's why you, that's your weakness. You need to change that pattern, that negative pattern of thought that comes out of your mouth. Change it. Change it. Be positive. We're going to turn it around for you. Okay? Change it. Oh, and, and the hair fine can Oh. Look at this. The Hierophant and the High Priestess together. And that's the counterparts, okay? And you you got the Hierophant here as your strength and then explaining your weakness in the reverse. I mean, I, I cannot make this stuff up. You, you need to change the way you think because you're not this, you are this, okay? You need to change the way you thought. You're a very strong individual. And the high priestess is reminding you, the high priestess never has a ceiling because the sky is the limit. You are limitless. You are limitless. You need to continue. And this is a very religious... Um, figure just like the hierophant the hierophant is the pope the pope is the head of the church i mean there's nobody higher in the church than the pope he's the head of the church uh so you are a very strong individual people look up to you you know your stuff um and then the high priestess she is incredibly intuitive and we've been talking about that from the get-go She's very intuitive and she's also a two. So there's going to be partnerships. Um, and we've been talking about that from the beginning too. You're, you're protected. You have people that love you, that support you. 
she's very intuitive. We said that in the beginning. Use your creativity. Use your intuition. Okay? Use it. Don't let the negative thought pattern change that because that's your strength that could turn into weakness if you misuse it. Okay? Um, now, what, uh, what do you need to focus on now? Beautiful movement. Moving, move, 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 move the chariot. And again, <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, that's one of the messages for this lunation. And today is that full moon. We need to start taking steps. We need to start taking action. It's all about um, earth energy. It's all about um, having this big dream and what steps do you need to take to make it, to make it a reality. And the universe is going to catch on. The universe is going to catch on and it's going to continue supporting you and pushing you towards that goal. But you need to start taking some steps. You need to start moving. You cannot have this incredible uh, business idea and have all the details planned out in your notebook and sit in front of your TV watching Netflix all day. It's not going to happen. It's just not. You need to get off that couch and start moving. That's it. With positive thoughts. Right? Nine of Wands is, you know, it's, 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 it's that putting all that effort and then seeing things sprout, seeing things bloom, which we've talked about a lot too. And you have the world in your hand. It's funny how those, um, those ones are coming together. Uh, and talking about passion and talking about business and talking about using your vision. Use your vision. You have the world in your hand. You can go out into the world, but you need to move. You need to move out of your comfort zone. He is planning. He's looking out. Uh, he's looking at the ships. Um, but he's still in his comfort zone. He's still like in his castle. Uh, so you need to start that, that movement to see uh, things sprout that you have planted on. All right. Um, and then what are you going to need to focus on the future? The star. This is, this is beautiful because the star is, is healing and its wishes coming true and the star always have a foot in the ground and a foot in the water which is having a sense of balance is never forgetting your your dreams your intuition the things that you want to create but staying grounded okay i want to do this i i wish i could be in this place so how can i make that a reality how can I step on that chariot and start moving? Uh, what are the steps that I need to take to make that dream come true? Okay, it's that balance of dreaming, but staying grounded and, and making it a reality. And that's very healing. That's very healing because then you don't feel that all I do is dream, 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 and nothing ever happens because you're taking action. So it, make it, it makes it very balanced and it makes it very healing. Okay? And we will finish the reading with opportunities. You will always have new opportunities. Always. 
you're always going to have ace of wands you're always going to have new opportunities uh and i i know that the other hand is on the reverse but it's telling me that you're going to have people working together with you and i didn't put any <laughs> i'm gonna do it very quickly Wow. So for the star, we have uh, two queens, one in the reverse and, and one right side up. So you need to have that balance, okay? You need to have that balance of, of the, the thoughts, the, 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 the thoughts, the words, and being in the reality and taking action. Okay, you need to have that balance. And then at the end, look at look at that. The four of wands. Um, it's is the most one of the most beautiful cards in tarot, uh, and this is a wedding thing, but a wedding uh, yeah theme. But um, it's 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 about the commitment. It's about the commitment, but it's also a celebration. It's also a four, so it's also a strong foundation. So it's everything that we want. It's a celebration of this commitment, of this strong commitment that we have with ourselves and with um, our future and with our business and, and being fruitful. And I said that you're always going to have a, an opportunity and there, here comes a page, which is new energy. It's a child, right? It's new energy and it's new ideas and new thoughts um, that it's going to create more and more new opportunities, which is going to create more ways to, more reasons to celebrate, which is going to create newer ideas, which is going to create newer opportunities and more reasons to celebrate. I mean, how pretty is that? All right. Well, if you stuck so long with me, I'm just going to put a couple of tea leaves because I said I was going to. And I apologize. I don't intend but I, uh, for it to be so long, but I get excited about what I'm talking about. Whew. Okay. So I'm going to take two of each pile. I got two piles of tea leaves. Okay, this one, oh, I need to go get it. It fell. Not now. Not now. Oh. All right. So the first one is a pale time to get out of a situation yes and i think we're we're thinking about um getting out of of that thought pattern that we've been um talking about but if you need to if, if you feel like you're in a situation that you need to get out of get out of it's time good advice from a wise person and we had that um that um emperor right there right so um, from a wise person, older person, person that has more knowledge than you, um, uh, in, in your business, you're going to get somebody. Bell announcements. <laughs> uh, and, and this reminds me of this wedding scene right here. Um, it, I, it feels like, you know, celebration announcement maybe you're going to announce how how wonderful you're doing or you're going to announce how your um how your business is is thriving right and then the last one is jog lightheaded uh carefree time i think that's how you're gonna feel at the end you're gonna free feel lightheaded you're gonna lighthearted. You're gonna um, feel 
you know, because you're going to achieve a beautiful thing that you're just going to love. And that's what we saw here. Whew. Well, if you have enjoyed this content, uh, please give me with a like and, um, and subscribe if you haven't. And with that, I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye, guys, or the next time.